Hello, my name is Anthony Vedana. I was an engineer at uh, Seal Beach where they made the uh, second stage of the Saturn missile or rocket. Here is uh, the uh, facilities. They were actually broken in two sections. One where they made the pro product and the other where the engineering and labs were. Well, this video is about the uh, testing that went on for the second stage at Seal Beach using uh, the vertical test facility. That facility had, they put a rocket, uh, sec the actual second stage there, and they had a hookup in there with the uh, a control room, computers, RF, and uh, telemetry. It was run by a test conductor that would follow a procedure using all the equipment we had there. It uh, was a long drawn out thing, but eventually it, it started with all the uh, repairs and things of, of things that were wrong there. Then they got it down to actually everything was working fine, and the test was actually only lasted about a little over two minutes. And Joe, my colleague, will explain what occurred there. It is as follows. Joe Gonzalez wrote the following. We would get a monthly schedule for testing, thus we would all know the schedules and what we needed for that test. This would change as we started at time or off, also depending on the problems we had during testing. This station was on the fifth floor of the Navy side where the major crane was. On the center console was a tech sitting and a test conductor sitting standing, while all the station techs were standing monitoring all the needles moving and reporting all the go and no go, then a no go. The test would go on hold to allow sight vehicle techs, also on headsets, look into the issue and determine if it was major or minor. If it was major, the test would be aborted till further notice. The minors would be flagged and keep going. All the tests were by two to each station, a tech, a tech and inspector, mountains of paper. As you look at the structure centered left, it is the opening between the days that led to a, a lab with the door to the vehicle. The lab would receive parts to be examined and returned to the vehicle with all analysis. The tech would re request another part or repair order. Usually these were problems were minor. Major would be assembly failure. We had some, but the manufacturer would always bring in a replacement, lab tested and approved and installed. Let me see if I can remember. 100 computer room. I was in this room. We would set up the text for the day and, and tell the test conductor we were ready. He gave the order as T30 to start. Everybody does what they have to do to do this, get this ready. 200. The left bay in the picture was the electrical power on during the power off the vehicle. 300 station was the telemetry. He was a good friend of, of mine. 400. Hydraulics and pneumatics usually the bulk of the issues were in his, this area. 500. Station was instrumentation, sensors, etc. There was a station at the miscellaneous stuff, but we had no idea what that was. Most of the testing was small, one day, one hour, varies. Remember, this was a rocket, minimum instrumentation. Some were scheduled at night, a viewing, the lighting, camera, testing. When a final assembly rocket test was run, schedule. This was a major deal. The room was full of directors, VPs, NASA, etc. This test would take about six to eight hours, so we were scheduled overtime. The test was always to take sec two minutes and 38 seconds. Simply a, f a flight, simulated flight. Never happened as we had to wait for the Huntsville to be on board for the engine actuation. There was no actual firing, just electrical firing. We never used fuel, just ionized water. Water does not blow up. 
and leaked like hell at high pressures. Before I arrived at Seal Beach, we had one tank outside the rocket being tested on the Navy side. Water blew up and we had a couple of guys hurt. Water's everywhere. In the parking lot, you name it. On the administration side, across the street, five of us had offices there. Basically all the techs were stationed to the high bay with the rocket. We would go across the street and analyze the data. Me, I did not do sh anything. I would be there etc. and do different things. I remember the computer would issue signals, directions, and then it would receive an answer from the rocket. This was converted to human language via the cards, printers. Engineers would receive thousands of pages coded with positions on the vehicle. Sometimes the reader would just screw up and we would have to go and bean count the items. Anyway, that uh, has to do with testing. There was other, a lot of other functions that were going on there. So I will explain that now. Manufacturing of the S2 stage was accomplished at Seal Beach, California, located approximately one mile from the Naval Harbor. This facility consisted of the service building, the vertical assembly building, a bulkhead fabrication building, hydrostatic test tower, and a pneumatic paint and packaging building. All structural welding, assembly, hydrostatic testing, uh, component installation, tank cleaning, sealing, final assembly, and systems checkout was accomplished at this facility. Well, this is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and goodbye.